John is 34. After being off work due to illness, he now receives some benefits from the Swiss Disability Insurance Fund. The agency has been discreetly investigating John. They suspect him of insurance fraud. His real state of health may mean he could work more. Given the new legal basis provided by Parliament, but still subject to a public vote, the agency can carry on surveillance of the young man for up to 30 days over a period of six months. In order to find out, for example, if John is secretly working at another job, the agency's investigators will be able to mount a GPS device on John's car without his knowledge. To do that, though, they'll have to get a court order. The agency will not have to get a court order if they hire a private detective to film and record John when he's in a public place, say, the local cafe. They can also do it if he's in a place visible from a public space, for example, his balcony or in his garden. This bothers some people. Opponents of the new legislation, mainly on the political left, think that it could endanger citizens' privacy. They fear that John may be snooped on right inside his own home, even if the federal government has given assurances that this won't happen. Alan Bursay, the federal minister, said that someone who is at home, in the bathroom, bedroom or drawing room, may not be observed. This is a good thing, as it involves respect for people's privacy. It shouldn't be forgotten, for that matter, that the insurance agency has to inform the client after the fact that he's been the object of surveillance, and it has to give him copies of what was recorded. Hello there, John. You've been on candid camera. Another aspect that caused opponents of the measure to go for a public vote. Health insurers unemployment insurance, and even old age pensions could come under this new law, which means that just about the whole population of Switzerland might end up being snooped on. Could this amount to another major scandal involving covert surveillance of citizens? Or is it just a needed measure to help social insurance agencies do a better job of balancing the books? It's now up to Joe Bloggs to slip his secret ballot into the box on November the 25th.